You're still rocking with the headbangers ball. Adam Cur Curry with you uh, and his promise along for the ride. Now, Lizzie Borden. How you doing, man? Not too bad. It's, it's, good, to, it's good of you to drop by, especially at this hour. I was what? walking down the street and I said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you tell us what's up? Now, um, there are a couple of things that you're working on. We just did, um, oh, not just, but uh, The Decline of the Western Civilization movie. Right. And I uh, just released a great video from that. Mm -hmm. That video is like filled with the legends of rock and roll all inside of three minutes or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So it's like an honor to be a part of that movie and this video. So and that's happening. Yeah, and uh, see, I happen to have a copy of uh, Visual Lies here. That did well for us. Um, we toured Japan on it, uh, uh, Europe, and did a great East Coast tour, and that's about as far as we made it. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm doing a solo record. <laughs> well, we'll get into the solo record okay, a little bit yeah. later on. First of all, um, track off of uh, the album Born to be Wild. Uh, yeah, that's off the, the movie. Off that from the the, what, the decline of right. Western civilization yeah. part two, which is the metal, the metal years. years. It's so confusing. <laughs> it's like um, now tell us exactly about the three minutes of you know of this fantastic video we're about to see. Um, well, uh, Penelope Spears, who directed the video, also um, edited our video. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the, it, and it's like we're a part of this video that's nothing but filled with legends, and like I don't even know if it's our video anymore. <laughs> But it really doesn't have to be because it's like, I mean, there's Alice, and mm -hmm. then there's us, there's Ozzy, and then there's us. So it goes on like that. And to have a video like that, if I ordered it, I don't know, I couldn't, couldn't be better. But this is something like you have on a reel at home that'll stay in your, in your prized oh, possessions yeah. place forever. If I wanted to make a video like that, I mean, I, that this would be the video to make. <laughs> okay, so get those VCRs rolling. Here comes Lizzie Borden, Born to be Wild. Um, just musically, uh, I grew up on Deep Purple, you know, and uh, Judas Priest. Well, they're, I guess they're visual. Um, but mainly I grew up on uh, the glitter rock of the 70s. Mm -hmm. You know, I, that stuff caught my eye and I said, this is it. This is, this is what I'd like to do. But uh, I don't know, there's a lot of groups that, that didn't do a show like Cheap Trick and stuff like that that I like too. So mm -hmm. I liked it. Pretty much everybody. <laughs> now, when 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 you go on stage, I mean, you have you have to gear up, you have to get into a, a certain mental state oh, yeah. for for the whole stage show. Um, do you take any special steps when doing that? Well, usually I wear costumes and makeup and stuff. So while I'm putting on the stuff, you get mentally into it. The more you put on them, the more you get into it, and it's like the the one step before you go on stage. That's the one. Mm -hmm. you know, that last step that's when you transform into whatever character you're playing. Yeah. And how hard is it to get back to or get out of that character? I mean, you walk off stage, it doesn't just disappear when you take the makeup off, I'm sure. N no. Um, well, once you do it every night, you, you, it kind of, uh, it sells itself. You know, mm -hmm. you, you come off and it takes about maybe 10 minutes and then you're back as soon as you see all the girls flood in backstage. <laughs> and you go, okay. So it's, it stays a little while then with all the girls are backstage. Yeah. I mean. Well, that kind of wakes me up a little bit and I go, oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, how about uh, the ultimate stage fantasy? If, I mean, what, what would you most want to happen? Well, first of all, well, uh, <laughs> well I like to play the forum, uh -huh. right? the LA forum. That's like a dream. Um, but I'm looking for the, the biggest show that I could possibly put together. I hope uh, I eventually get to that point. Mm -hmm. But uh, so far we've been doing many huge shows. Um, I don't know, I've changed my show every year. So it's, it's gone from a very bloody theatrical show <laughs> to a really uh, high gloss show business type show. Right. You know, so I don't know where I'm going now. I think it's going to be more uh, back to a darker theatrical look. Yeah. We'll talk more uh, about your, uh, your solo stuff and the uh, stuff that you're working on when we come back. First of all, though, another video for you, Femme Fatale here, still waiting for the big one. Welcome back. You, of course, are still rocking with the Headbangers Ball, Adam Curry and uh, Lizzie Borden along with us. Yeah, we're, we're banging <laughs> we're away. We're having a good time. Um, about the solo thing that you have going. Tell yeah. us about it. Um, well, when we came off the, the, the Me Against the World tour, um, we kind of had a falling out with the band and all that. And uh, not that this was band was put together, you know, it hasn't been uh, the same members since we started. So, um, but I decided to do a solo record and and come back. So 
so we're doing what I'm doing now is putting uh, a band together. We're going to go out and we may do some shows in LA under a different name just to warm up a bit. But we're going to do the record um, the end of the year. It'll be out early, early next year. So it's going to be one of these secret appearances under under a different name. Is that is just that what you're yeah, just to warm up because right, I've spent the whole summer writing the tunes. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going out of my mind. I want to get on stage and play. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to go and and kind of rehearse the stuff down in you know the all the clubs in LA, it's, that's a whole different feeling than on the road, you know, in LA and you play all those clubs. Now, wh what is it about Los Angeles? I mean, Los Angeles is definitely the place for metal and, and hard rock. There's just some, I think there's an aura about the whole thing. I mean, e even the dingiest clubs have something to offer, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I plan on playing them all just in one little stretch just to get the vibe back because that's mm -hmm. where we started, you know. So is this like the, the new chapter? It board. is, yeah, because um, I was held back on, on some things musically because uh, I like more simplistic stuff because, you know, some of the, the glitter rock stuff that I grew up on was more simplistic. Mm -hmm. And I want to go back to that instead of getting really complicated guitar-wise. You know, I want to get more uh, back to the basics. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. Hey, man. I'll tell you, uh, when, when you, you know, when you get everything set, come back. <clears throat> let us know. Let me know about these shows you're gonna be doing because I want to be there in these clubs when you, hey. un under that on that false name false that we won't name. tell you about. <laughs> well, thanks for dropping by hey. and uh, come back soon, okay? I'll be back. More for you headbangers out there right now. Crash landing from Seduce. Well, if you want to be